I get a great evasion from the Nottingham public. Um, I've had to work to get that sort of status. It don't come because they like it. It comes because you play reasonably well for the club. So, uh, but I've got a lot of uh, faith and a lot of credit to the supporters. They've been behind me all the time. Happy habit for Nottingham Forest. <laughs> a kiss from the manager to the captain and Brian Clough himself is leading them up the steps. I sent a message on to uh, Stuart Pearce to say, can I go up and get it? And he said, no problems at all, with pleasure or piss off or whatever he did say, son, because I didn't take the message on. But I went up. Is he going to get the trophy from Ted Croker? It's a presentation, perhaps not just for today, but for all he's done for football and for Nottingham Forest.
and this time he's found Batty and Pierce has gone for the return oh what a pity it didn't go in terrific play by the England left back in the build up and very nearly in the execution he gave the first ball Pierce there Batty saw him going for the return he's beaten the offside rolled it past the keeper and agonisingly as Lineker came in also past the post we did that well and there could be a break on here but uh, oh and it's Muller and the substitute goes round Woods and was that in or not no an amazing clearance they're surrounding the referee saying it was in I think it was Stuart Pierce who got it out and the referee is holding up a card I think somebody's pushed him and the protests are fast and furious and fierce here we are from the other side of the stadium. See what you make of it this time. If you're watching from the Royal Box side, that's the view. Muller gets it in. Oh, that is hands, isn't it? That should have been a penalty, even if the ball wasn't over the line, which I still think it might have been. Stuart Pearce, both of whom, along with Steve Hodge, will be back here at the weekend in the Littlewoods Cup final. Steve Bull, a bit strong for Hodge. Steve Bull winning his fourth cap. Doubtless remember that he scored on his debut in pretty dramatic style against Scotland at Hampden Park. Pearce might just have a crack now. Does indeed. Struck it well with his left foot. Mikloshko right behind the line. But he would have felt it as it arrived. Taken by Bilek. Kubik a little slow. And his ball. Oh, well struck. It's 1-1. And really that came as a result of Kubik being caught in midfield. And Butcher got a bit of it. And Pierce is the scorer. And a nice celebration for Stuart Pierce of his 28th birthday yesterday. His first goal for England. It was actually the Czechoslovakian head that knocked it across and Pierce got on top of it well to rifle it down. Good batting by Butcher which caused the error then by uh, Lineker and Pierce 2-1 England. Stuart Pierce, well his left foot, I wouldn't have liked to get in the way of many of his left foot shots but he kept it down very well as you say, could have snatched at it and uh, there we are 2-1 where just what 10 minutes ago we were 1-0 and uh, it was all looking a little bit worrying. And the whistle is the half-time whistle. And England, having been given a shock, came back well. And Stuart Pearce, birthday boy yesterday, giving England the lead. Gascoigne calling for it. Now, is he going to go to the byline? He is indeed. He's got a curl too. Oh, that's a lovely goal. And Gascoigne has been involved in all three and Stephen Bull has scored two of them. Gascoigne. Thank you very much. <laughs> Suddenly the smile is back. That little piece of magic brings a smile to everyone's face, not least his. And Gascoigne making absolutely sure that the manager knows what he's done.